Hey there Luma, it's Denise from LumaHead.com and this time in this video I'm going to show you how to knit the bow tie basket weave stitch pattern and it's called that because within the weave you'll see this cute little bow tie with a knot in the middle and I'm going to help you take that knot one notch higher so stay with me. All right, now the pattern is not 100% reversible, but it will work perfectly for your blankets, dishwashers, or washcloth, I think. All right, now heads up, this is not a project video. This is a stitch pattern only video. So I won't be going through cast on and cast off because that's determined by your choice of project. All right, without further ado, let's go through the placement of the stitch markers first. So for this swatch, I started with a single knit stitch, which is not part of the pattern, and then started the nine stitch pattern that it takes to create this stitch. And so I start here and I end here for that first repeat. And then personally, I'm going to repeat the nine stitches two more times. So I start again here and do those nine stitches. And then I'm gonna repeat those nine stitches right here. You're gonna repeat them as many times as is necessary for your project. And then me for the swatch, I ended right here with another single stitch. All right, let's start with row one where we're going to purl one, knit three, purl one, and then knit four. Now remember that I started my swatch with that single knit stitch that's not part of the pattern, right? So after I knit that off, I now start the multiple of nine, those nine stitches that it takes, by putting the working yarn under the existing loop, and from the top, I'm gonna scoop up and create a new loop, take the old one off, Put the new one on and pull. That's that first purl stitch, which I'm going to follow with three knit stitches. Now, you can use the U-wrap flat or true version of the knit stitch. When I'm going in this direction, I will sometimes use the flat, but I think for most people, the easiest is the U-wrap or you half wrap the peg and then knit off and you're going to follow that with another purl stitch so you put your working yarn under the existing loop from the top you scoop up to create a new loop here it is you're going to take the old loop off the peg and now put the new loop on the peg and pull the working yarn to tighten that loop so it'll stay on your peg all right we're gonna end these nine stitches with four knit stitches. Again, I'm going to use the U-wrap version, so I half wrap the peg and then knit off. Half wrap, knit off, that's peg number two. And now I wanna tell you that I'm using a large gauge loom and one single strand of worsted weight. This pattern works great with any yarn and any loom. Once you're finished with row one and we're ready for row two, you're gonna knit four, purl two, knit one, and purl two. Now, we are knitting flat on this video for this pattern, so we're going back and forth. We're at the end and we're gonna turn around to go in the opposite direction, and I'm gonna knit off that edge that I have, that one knit stitch that's not part of the pattern, and then start with my four knit stitches. Again, using the U-wrap version of the knit stitch, I half wrap and knit off. Follow those by two purl stitches. And so I'm gonna take my working yarn, put it under the existing loop, scoop up to create a new loop, take the old one off and put the new one on and pull. I'm doing two of those and then one knit stitch and I'm gonna follow that one knit stitch with two purl stitches. And those are my nine stitches that I'm going to repeat two more times and you will repeat as necessary for your project. You're then ready for row three, which is a purl five knit four. 
but row three is different in that this is the row where you do the little knot on the bow tie and so we're going to start off with the regular uh, little knot it's a smaller one and you're just going to purl five and you're going to follow those five pearls with your four knit stitches you're still going to get a little bit of a knot but not as large in order to get this popcorn stitch which is the larger one as opposed to this one and i want you to see that you can see the difference between this uh alternate row three popcorn stitch as opposed to the different one okay to do that you're going to purl two and then once you have done those two purl stitches you're going to then get to this stitch right here and instead of doing a purl stitch you're going to take your yarn and put it over the existing loop and we're going to do a knit stitch but we're going to take this locking stitch marker attach the loop to it and then knit off that is the first of five knit stitches you're going to do on this one peg this same peg you're going to knit five times so here's the third time here's a fourth time and then here's the fifth that i'm going to do and then what I want you to do after you've done that, after you knit that one peg five times, is that you're going to come back and get your locking stitch marker or whatever tool you use to knit off that first uh, knit stitch. And you're going to bring it and mount it back on the peg and then knit off. That's going to do that popcorn stitch. Then you continue with two purl stitches. And after that, four knit stitches so that's an alternate row three which includes a popcorn stitch to give you that bigger uh, knot on your bow tie all right i'm going to show you one more time the alternate row three you're going to purl two and then with the locking stitch marker knit off your first knit stitch and then you're going to knit that same peg five times in total Okay, make sure that your yarn is heading in the correct direction. You're going to purl two and then knit four. That is the alternate row three. Now, I'll tell you that if you don't want to have it wait pop up too much, then just do three. So there's your popcorn stitch using the alternate row three. But remember that the original one still gives you a little bump. You see it right there? That's that knot on your bow tie so either one's going to give you one it's just whether you want a larger or a smaller bump next you would knit row four just like you did row two which is knit four purl two knit one purl two as you knit row four let me just give you this heads up this is the flat version of this pattern so if you wanted to knit, say, a hat using this same stitch pattern, you would need to purchase the written one, which includes both flat and in the round, and I'll put a link in the description. For row five, you're going to purl one, knit three, purl one, knit four. You guys know how to knit and purl. Now you're experts. So I'm just gonna go through this one real quickly. You do that first purl, your three knit stitches, follow that by one purl, and then finish the row with four knit stitches. Row six is super easy. You're just gonna purl four and knit five. And from this point on, which is row seven through 10, you're just flipping that. So row seven, you knit five, purl four. Row eight, you purl four, knit five. Nine, you knit five, purl four and 10 you flip that so you're going to purl four and knit five now all you do is repeat rows one through ten as necessary for your particular project one more thing if you guys are interested in the stitch markers that i am using for this project which have the little kitties i will put a link in the description where you can get them in my store and if you let me know you saw the video 
this is a set of 10 but i will send you 12. all right thanks for watching till the end remember to share because that helps me a whole lot and subscribe so you don't miss the next video